what's up everybody? It's Pastor Isaac, and I just want to do this video to share a little recap of what we talked about on Sunday, and I'm hoping that you guys are going to have great discussion in your life groups uh, about this topic of uh, relationships and, and the thing that really gets in the way of having healthy relationships, whether it's in our marriage, whether it's with our family, with our friends, co-workers, um, because there is a, a, a strategy that Satan has. Uh, the Bible says in John 10, 10, that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's what he wants to do. He wants to destroy us. He wants to destroy our relationships. And uh, how he does that, his strategy is division. Uh, God wants to bring us together. Satan wants to tear us apart. And the tactic that he uses in that is always offense. It's always just those little subtle things that we get offended about uh, at each other, and it happens every single day. And the, the Bible talks about it in uh, Matthew chapter five. Jesus had the Sermon on the Mount. And in the Sermon on the Mount, uh, Jesus said, if anybody says to his brother, Raka, Raka, then that person is in danger of the fires of hell. And I think what, what Jesus is saying is, is that's where it starts. It starts with something in our heart. Uh, and sometimes it could just be a word. Like if you, if you uh, ever just go through your normal day and you're so happy and then all of a sudden um, somebody says to you, oh, Isaac, are you okay? You look tired. Um, I, some people will say to me, because I have like these dark circles under my eyes, I say, oh, Pastor Isaac, did something happen to your eye? You have a black eye? I'm like, no, I just have dark circles. It's the way God made me. You have a problem with that? You know, <laughs> and these like little things that people say to us can, can create an offense if uh, uh, we don't um, allow God to, to heal that. And then those little things building, and sometimes it's just one word. Um, and, and so often we don't even recognize that. And uh, we, we see that in our relationships all the time. And on Sunday, we talked about uh, probably the most intimate relationship that we have is, uh, is our marriage. And how a lot of, many times in our marriage, it's, it's those little offenses that uh, begin to build up. Um, we, we don't deal with them. We don't communicate them. They, sometimes we harbor them in our spirit and, and we, we don't have the conversation with our spouse or maybe we don't have the conversation with our friend to, to let them know uh, uh, what they said kind of offended us and, and we harbor it. And little by little, it builds a wall. On Sunday, we, we use the illustration of, of a wall. And a, a lot of times in our relationships, we don't even realize it, but we're building a wall because of all these little offenses that begin to build up in, in our marriages and the relationships we have with coworkers, with friends. And then all of a sudden, uh, we're in isolation. And all of a sudden, the, the person that we love to be in the same room with, um, now we, we can't even stand to, to hear their voice. How does this happen? It happens one offense at a time. And I, I believe it's so important for us as, as followers of Jesus to become unoffendable. Why, why do you say that, Pastor? Uh, because Jesus, who we follow, was the one who dropped every single offense that he had against all of humanity. And we're followers of him. We're supposed to do that same thing. Uh, unfortunately, forgiveness is one of the most unnatural things for anybody to do. It's so difficult because uh, I think part of, of what's inside of us is, is we want justice, we want to be right, and we want them to pay. And, and a lot of times, uh, we, forgiving them um, is so unnatural for us. And we cannot do it on our own. But yet, if we want to be able to have healthy relationships, uh, and to be honest, the Bible says if you want to be able to go to heaven, then you have to learn to forgive. The Bible says in, in Matthew chapter five, that if you forgive those who have hurt you, then your father in heaven will forgive you. But if you don't forgive those who have wronged you, then your heavenly father will not forgive you. That's scary for me because I, I know forgiveness is so difficult, but the great thing about it is we don't have to do it alone. That when you have Christ in your life, Paul said, now when you have Christ, it is not I who live, but Christ who lives within me. So when Christ is living within me, then he becomes my tag team partner, and that I'm able through, through the Holy Spirit to do things that aren't natural for me, but I can forgive 
with Christ as my tag team partner. And so what I want you guys to, to be able to talk about in, in your groups tonight is just, and it could, could be difficult for a lot of people, but to, to talk about forgiveness, to talk about uh, some stories that you've had in your life where uh, you didn't want to forgive or it was really difficult and, and you were really hurt and you were really wronged and, and you, you began to harbor so much of this inside of you. Um, a lot of times the, uh, the, the bricks that build that wall, um, what keeps them together is our pride. And we talked about how uh, the mortar is our pride. And a lot of times we think if I forgive them, then somehow um, it's gonna make it not as bad of what they did, or I'm letting them off the hook. Look, Christ let you off the hook. That forgiveness isn't for them, it's for you. It's for your freedom. Because if you're living, harboring so much unforgiveness, you are in a prison. C.S. Smead said this, one of my favorite quotes, that Forgiveness is setting the prisoner free and realizing that that prisoner was you. And that's what I want everyone within our church and, and anyone listening to this video, uh, for you to be able to sit, set that prisoner free. And that prisoner is you because when you harbor unforgiveness, uh, it imprisons you. Uh, so I hope you in, enjoyed uh, this video. Hope you uh, enjoyed this past Sunday. and. Uh, Take this time in your group to, to talk about these things. And through the Holy Spirit, we're going to see all of us be able to break out of that prison of offense. God bless.